movement in animals. In our previous videos, we have talked so much about how bones and muscles help the human body to move. Have you wondered if it's the same for animals? Do animals have bones and muscles like humans? In this video, we are going to talk about the gait or movement of animals. Not all animals walk and run like humans. Their skeletons are different and allow them movement in different ways. Fish swim, frogs hop, birds fly, snakes crawl on the ground, and dogs and cat walk and run. I'm sure you also wonder why birds fly while we can't, or fish swim while the snake crawls. Let's see how different animals move in their own special way. We are going to start with the earthworm. I'm sure you have seen earthworms after it rains. Have you observed how they move? The earthworm has no bones or arms or legs, so it slides on its tummy. Its body is made of many rings called segments that are joined together like blocks. It has muscles that go in circles in these segments and other muscles that run along the length of it. These muscles help it to extend and release its body. When it moves, the earthworm first extends the front part of its body, keeping the rear fixed to the ground. It then fixes the front part and releases the rear. It moves slowly forward on the ground by repeating this process. But how does it fix itself to the ground? The earthworm has a large number of tiny hair-like structures called bristles connected to the muscles. These bristles help it to grip the ground and fix itself. As the earthworm moves, its body secretes a slimy liquid that makes its movement easier. And you know, the earthworm eats and loosens the soil as it burrows. How does it do that? It swallows the soil and takes its nutrition from tiny parts of decaying roots, leaves and other things in the soil. The undigested part of the food that it takes from the soil is excreted or thrown out. This excreted material makes the soil more fertile. That's why an earthworm is also known as a farmer's friend. Let's move on to the snail. Snails are slow moving creatures, but they manage to reach where they want to go. A snail has a flat foot beneath its body. It, this foot has muscles that help it to contract and expand. This creates a movement that pushes the snail to its journey. Like the earthworm, the snail also produces a slimy substance as it moves. This slimy substance eases its movement along the surface of the ground. Have you seen what a snail carries on its back? That's the snail's mobile home called the shell. The shell is actually a skeleton even though it doesn't have any bones. This skeleton forms a protective covering for the delicate body of the snail. Now let's talk about cockroaches. We have all seen cockroaches run on the floor, crawl walls and even fly. Now that's a huge variety of movement for a creature. Cockroaches have three pair of legs that help them walk. They also have an outer skeleton that is not made of bones but some other substance called chitin. This outer skeleton helps them in their movement. Two pair of wings attached to their sides help them fly. They have muscles by the side of their legs and on the sides of their body. These muscles help in their walking, crawling and flying movements. Birds Birds can move in two ways. They walk on the ground and fly in air. Some birds like ducks and geese can also swim in water. Birds have hollow and light bones that make it easier for them to lift in air. Their hind limbs are modified as legs that help them walk. Their forelimbs are modified as wings. They have strong muscles along their breast bones that help the wings move up and down. Now let's talk about the fish. 
A fish can balance itself in water and can move in many directions. It has a streamlined body shape. This means that its body tapers at both ends. This allows water to flow around it smoothly, making it easier for the fish to pass through water. Unlike the earthworm, snail and cockroach, the fish has a proper skeleton and bones. There are strong muscles along the skeleton that help the fish to move in water. Fish also move by expanding the muscles on one side of their body while relaxing the muscles on the other side, forming a curve. This process is repeated on the other side. A series of such moves make the fish move forward in water. Fins on their tail and the sides help them to push through the water, change directions and stop. While the muscle in their body gives them the force to move through water, the fins give them the push to move quickly. Have you seen the diving gear of water divers that go underwater to explore? They wear flippers on their feet. These work like the fish fins that help the divers to move easily in water. Snakes The snake slithers and crawls on the ground in waves. How does it do that? A snake has a long skeleton with thin muscles all along its length. Starting at the neck, it contracts its muscles and thrusts its body from side to side. This creates a series of curves and that's what pushes it forward. Rectangular scales line the underside of the snake's body. These scales grip the surface of the ground and help the snake to use the force from its muscles and push its body forward. So while the snake doesn't have legs, its muscles and scales do the walking. Some snakes can fly too. Can you imagine how they do that? They swing themselves into the air from a high branch, then flatten their bodies by widening their many ribs. This helps them to glide for a long distance. So, what have we learned? We have learned that movement by all animals and humans is made possible with the help of bones and muscles. And in creatures that do not have bones, movement is made possible by muscles and other body adaptations like scale in snakes and slimy mucus in earthworms and snails. Thank you.